Hey guys, it's OSVDXTreviews.com. Today we're going to unbox and give a very short video. First, look at the paper watch Montre in Pepier, which is a paper watch made entirely out of the strong fibered paper, which helps to um, allow you to doodle with a wide variety of either pencils, um, which show up really nicely on the black because it's lead, it's going to shiny, it's going to look like whitish gray. Or you can use sharpies and pens and doodle your own designs, which can actually look really cool, kind of like tattoos and stuff, in a very lightweight, really um, innovative, inexpensive piece of watchware. Now, you can pick this up at a lot of locations online and in-store for around $10 and 8 bucks. It's really cheap. It's really inexpensive. Um, here it is. It's just paint it, um, draw on it, uh, do whatever you really want. So it's all made out of pla paper, so I'm a little bit concerned about durability, but it looks to be okay. Um, you have your standalone watch there. I'm not sure how you can adjust it. This kind of looks like one of those silly band things that you can fold around. Nothing on the back just says, um, battery manufacture date in 2011. Uh, recycle. It's, oh, you can recycle this. That's kind of cool. You can recycle this watch. That's environmentally friendly, I guess. Uh, 1.5 volts of um, electricity. So let's just get it open. There we go. I'm going to slide it. And there's the watch. It says. Uh, green Bear International NC. That's, that makes sense, because it is a green product. This is something environmentally friendly. Okay, so first impressions. Wow, this is made really out of paper. Um, the really papery paper. It's really thin. It's really lightweight. It's just like normal paper, even thinner than this. I'm a little concerned about the durability, so let me see. If I try to tear it... Huh, that's interesting. If I try to tear it, it doesn't tear like normal paper tears. It doesn't rip, so it is stronger. If you see there, I try to rip it, and it doesn't rip. It's a little bit crumpled, but there you go. It doesn't rip. That's interesting. It feels like paper, except it's a strong fiber material, which makes sense. Um, unlike the cardboard, which, yeah, the cardboard rips. So... This is a strong material. That's nice. Got a monochrome display. As far as how you can actually adjust the time, what did I just do? Alarm, that your, that's your stopwatch. Your date, your seconds. Okay, so it looks to me like all the controls are hidden. There's no instruction manual, which is kind of bad. But it looks to me like all the controls are hidden on the front face on the lower tab here. So if I press left, it navigates through time. If I press right, it cycles through the different functions. And this is just helping me adjust to the different features. This is the seconds. So this is an interesting watch. It's basically two buttons left and right on the bottom. Um, that's kind of interesting. The paper won't tear, but it will crumble. And that is something to take note of. So if we wear this... We basically put your strap around one loop, it's adjustable, and close the other one up. It does look more like kind of one of those school field trip, um, one of those silly band things that they would make you wear so that you won't get lost on, on school field trips, which is kind of interesting as well. Um, but the time looks like it works. It's your time, your date, your uh, settings, and your seconds. Oh, this is going to be interesting just to play around with. I'm not sure I've had something like this before. Um, okay, so let's take that out and just see on our first look how it looks like to draw on it. I'm going to take a standalone regular pencil and just do it all away. So what I should do to on here, let's do, um, let me just try something like a microphone uh, or a globe. I'm going to draw a globe first. So it's kind of hard to draw on it as well, which is interesting. It's not just a tear, it's hard to draw. It's also hard to draw on it really nicely, even if we are greeted to a flat surface. Unlike regular white paper, the actual material doesn't show up that well. Um, however, if we use something like um, a, a Sharpie, let's see if that works. 
if we use a sharpie, it works a lot better, except since this is black on black, it's not going to be that great either. You can pick this up at different colors. They also have them in blue and red and yellow and white, and I think those colors will work a little bit better. I wanted the black because I thought that the pencil would show up a lot better. Unfortunately, the material is really hard. It's like unrippable paper, so it's going to be not, it's going to really hard to dent the surface. So it's not as easy to actually draw on it as you might think. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be a lot easier if I use watercolor or oil paint on it, and that's going to work out a lot better. I'm probably going to paint this, um, and I'll come back with a few more photos and an official review, but when we come back, but, um, that's it for now, I think. This is the paper watch unboxing and first look here at osnvtxreviews.com. Thanks for watching.